And there you saw it. All is set for that UDS Faculty of Education 2020 political parties debate on the education policy in Ghana. Now, four political parties are the governing New Patriotic Party, the National Democratic Congress, the Vegas Opposition, the Convention People's Party, and the People's National Convention uh, Congress will strip bare their manifesto policies on education. This debate is expected to help Ghanaians fully understand what the various parties have in stock ahead of the December polls as far as education is concerned. Our uh, Northern Region correspondent Martina Bugri is joining me live. Hello Martina, what is happening where you are? Martina, do you hear me? I see you Martina, do tell us what's happening right now. Okay, it looks like a, a little bit of a break in our conversation. So Martina can't seem to hear me. I'm going to try this once again, see if she hears me this time around so she can tell us what's happening there and what's to be expected. She also has uh, a number of people on the bill that she'll be talking to uh, before we return from Tamale right here back into the studio. Martina, let's try this once again. Hopefully you hear me we now. We are all set for this evening's uh, program where four political parties will shred their manifestos policies on education. It is the UDS Faculty of Education political parties debate on education policy. We have four political parties who will be doing the um, debate this evening. But first of all, we'd like to find out what has gone into this whole debate. We have the organizers and we'll be speaking to Dr. Gunu the head of the uh, Faculty of Education. He'll give us more insight into what has been going into the preparation. Hi, Doug. Yeah, hi. Yes, tell us what went into this preparation and we are all set for um, the show this night. Yeah, we are well organized to host the four political parties. That is NDC, MPP, PNC, and CPP. Um, so far, they have confirmed to participate in the process, and I can confirm that three of the political parties' reps have arrived. So the vice presidential candidate for CPP is in town. I can also confirm that the deputy minister of education, Dr. Chum, is also in town. I can also confirm that the vice presidential candidate for PNC is also in town. So we are hoping that before the process is started, the NDC rep will also be in town so, or signal that he's around to participate in the process. What, so, should, we, what should we expect uh, by the close of the whole debate? Yeah, we expect political parties to educate the citizenry on their policies on education. And it will also give us the opportunity to ask them questions that will make them to reflect on their manifesto promises. And I think that is very important because education is an important aspect of the entire developmental process. So this process, and that is the debate that I'm talking about, will support the political parties and the citizenry to make an informed choice. Thank you very much, Dr. Guno of the Faculty of Education, UDS. He's been telling us what uh, to expect tonight when the show begins. We have the four political parties, actually three of them are here, and they'll be telling us what to expect when their reps come tonight. Hi, Madam. Welcome to Joy News. Thank you. You represent the PNC. Yes, please. What should we expect when your leader mounts the podium to tell us about your policies? I want to use this opportunity to thank UDS for organizing this debate. Because when you look at education, it is the pivot upon which every country rests its shoulders on. So uh, we from the PNC side we were very happy when we heard that this program was being organized to give opportunity for political parties to come out 
to tell the people of Ghana what we can do in order to be able to improve our educational system in the country. Uh, PNC um, have been a political party. PNC has been a political party since the uh, since the uh, we went into uh, the 1992 uh, uh, constitutional regime, and we have stayed up till this time. When you look at uh, uh, our educational sector. Now, even though there is an improvement in enrollment and other things, we still have problems of infrastructure. We still have uh, our, our teachers crying that they don't have incentives. We still have our children sitting under trees to learn. These are things that when a PNC government is in power, it will be a thing of the past. We are, we are, we are thinking that uh, when we come into power, 15% of the GDP, our total GDP, is going to be designated into the educational sector to boost our educational system. Apart from this, when they talk about education, people think education means only those who go to the classroom to, uh, to study. We are extending it to those who are into other uh, sectors, and we want the educational, uh, the universities to be able oh. to inculcate those people into the into. Thank the you very much, Madam Janet Nabil of uh, PNC. We'll also be speaking to Mohammed Sharif Ibrahim. It's all about the free education. What else should we expect? <laughs> well, let me join. My, let me say good afternoon to you, or good evening, and let me join my sister Janet to uh, congratulate even before the program the organizers of the program, because the basis of uh, democracy is people making informed choices. And the only way we can make informed choices is by having platforms of this nature where political parties are given an opportunity to speak to their electorates and the general populace on what they intend to do with the mandate when given the opportunity. So the MP, from the MPP in particular, I would like to say thank you very much for and on behalf uh, of the MPP, on behalf of my regional executives, and on behalf of the party in, in general. Uh, we look forward to um, our Deputy Minister for Education, Dr. Eddie Chum, to come and make the representation on behalf of the party. And as a party that has been in government for the, in the, for the past four years, the expectation is that um, our Deputy Minister will be speaking on two fronts. The first front will be to account for the mandate so far, what we have done with the mandate of the Ghanaian people in the last four years. And I'm glad that um, Free SHS comes off head immediately where you were going, going to talk about this. But we have done Free SHS and more, and more because <laughs> far beyond the Free SHS, at all levels of the educational sector, we have uh, a lot of achievement to speak about. For instance, if you look at the area of... All right, thank you very much, Mr. Sharif of the NPP. Well, the stage is set, all is we are already here, and in the next few hours, the four political parties will have the opportunity to tell Ghanaians what they would give them in the field of education when they come to power. This will give the opportunity to Ghanaians to decide which political party has the best policies when it comes to education and why they should pick that party. Over to you, Gifty. Martina, thank you very much. Beautiful job done there. Martina Bukri there, certainly trying to squeeze up the time for us as well and also to engage the people to find out what to expect later tonight. Like she said, the stage is set and we're going to have that conversation about something crucial, our education. We'll bring you more. You want to stick and stay.